I live in the Memphis, Tennessee area, and we always have barbecue, and sometimes we have leftovers. And what do you do with leftovers? Well, you make fried rice, barbecue fried rice. You make a barbecue salad. But today we're making one of my favorites, a tailgating appetizer. You can have it any time of the year. I love these things. Who doesn't love a good egg roll? Welcome to All Things Food, I'm John Woods. And I love to cook, but I cook to love. And today we're talking barbecue egg rolls, and I'm gonna share with you, and I've already had one, one of the most delicious recipes on egg rolls you'll ever see. So let's get cooking. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and heat this skillet up and put a, just a tad of oil in it, vegetable oil, not much. Get it good and hot. I've already chopped my barbecue here. As I said, that was leftover barbecue. And I'm gonna hit it in here just to kind of crisp it up a little bit and to give it some more flavor. And then we're gonna put some uh, seasoning on it. You can use your own favorite rub, um, whatever you want to use, just to give it a little more flavor and seasoning. Carefully put that in there. Watch your heat. And this does add another layer of flavor, believe it or not, by doing this. And I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle just a little bit of this on it. Not gonna to take too long to do that. Then we're gonna turn the heat off and just let it sit there for a minute. So I've got a lot going on. We heated this up and I tasted it. The flavor is just superb. It did exactly like I wanted it to. It, it brought in a lot of flavor. Over here I have my vegetable oil. I'm gonna bring that up to 350 degrees so we're gonna monitor that. But then I'm gonna come over here and I have my package of slaw. That's just slaw mix that I bought at the store, already pre-cut. And we're gonna add a little bit of uh, Kikkelman soy sauce to that. Probably about a tablespoon. And then a little bit of sesame oil. And I love this combination of Kikkelman and sesame oil. About a tablespoon there. Then we're going to just toss it all real good. That's pretty much it. It's a matter now of just sticking these egg rolls together and getting them fried. I don't really like using uh, the purple cabbage in there. And I'm going to pull some of that out because it has a tendency to bleed through. And I didn't notice when I bought the slaw that it was in there. We're getting ready to put together our egg rolls and I have my wrappers over here that you can buy these at your store. They're hard to find because they, they sell out. And I had to search all over to find these actually for today. And I always like to keep a damp little cloth or towel on top of it so they don't dry out in case I have some kind of a delay. So I'm gonna turn it uh, where the point is away from me there. And we're gonna take our barbecue pork over here. It's cooled down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in here mix it all in. So we're going to mix all this together so we can get a good even blend of it. It smells fabulous. What we're going to do, I've got a little bit of water here and I'm going to take it and I'm going to wipe it down the, the side of the wrapper here and that's going to help glue it together. I don't know exactly how much that is but you'll just kind of get a feel for it after a while. Put it in the middle. Now I'm going to take the two sides, my left and right, and I'm going to pull them together in the middle here. I'm going to take the one closest to me and pull it over those two and pat it down a little bit and make certain it's going to roll. And then I'm going to just tightly and gently roll it away from me to this point right here. Now what I'm going to do now is take these and set them aside uh, over here just on that sheet pan. And on top of that, I will put also a damp towel. I'll tell you the most important thing of doing this is that you watch your heat, your oil on the stove. You do not want a grease fire. I'm down to my very last one and it looks like we're going to get about 14 beautiful egg rolls out of this. I'm obviously not going to eat 14 egg rolls right now, but... I'm going to take some of these egg rolls. We're going to fry up some of them just to show you how it works. But these are going to go in my freezer. And so when I have a tailgate party, company, need an appetizer, just want a really good snack, pull it out of the freezer, drop it in the hot oil, and voila, it's completely finished. My temperature is about 350 degrees on my, is the temperature that I'm shooting for. I don't want to get any below, below 350. I find that makes them a little oily. So 350 is my optimum temperature. And I've kept these covered so they haven't dried out. But I'm actually going to bring my temperature a little bit above 350 because when I drop these into the fryer, it's going to drop down the temperature. And I want to try to maintain that temperature as close to 350 as possible, which means that I may need to adjust the, the burner just a little bit. Here we go. 
And I'm going to drop that in very gently, holding everything together. And they're looking, that's, I like to see that sizzle there. And I'm going to put in probably four or five. These are cooking quite nicely. I usually cook them about five minutes, five or six minutes, if that. And uh, a good point here that um, Emily did brought up, um, she's doing the filming today, uh, is using your um, cast iron um, Dutch oven to do this. It's, I use this to fry all the time because it's, it's just, it's deep. Um, a lot of good qualities to use in this. If you have one of them, I, I recommend it highly when you're frying things. I love to use it and it maintains the heat. So you see our temperatures drop down back to the 350 mark and that's exactly what we were wanting it to do. Let me just bring up the point if you don't have a deep fryer at home, if you have an enamel cast iron uh, Dutch oven like I have here, these are wonderful to have in your kitchen for frying because they're deep, they maintain the heat, and it's just a really good way to fry things uh, here in your, your own home. I always like to make certain that the seal hasn't come apart before I stick those in there because some, if they do, they'll pop open just like that one. Here's an example of one that dried out and the edge popped open on me and we're still going to eat that. We're not going to sacrifice it. And I went back and resealed these um, so those are holding together quite nicely. So that's just a little trick. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, that's a good piece of advice to know. And um, do so. Hit the like button today. All right, they're cooking away and you can't have a good egg roll without a good dipping sauce. So I'm going to do a little uh, mayonnaise here. And then a couple things I can do is, uh, this is one of my favorite barbecue sauces, uh, just north of Memphis, uh, Sweet Christie's. Um, you can buy that on their website and I'll put a link down below. This is, we keep this by the gallons at my house. There's hardly a, a, a dinner at our house that we don't have this out on the table for somebody. It's delicious. I'm gonna make a little sauce here. I think it's appropriate with barbecue. Put a little bit of Sweet Christie's in there and this comes in a spicy mischief version. And then they also make a honey mustard that's really good. So I'm going to mix that in there. Real good. And you just make any kind of sauce you want, sweet and sour or whatever. Then I'm going to take a little bit of this chili paste and just to give it a little kick, a little bite. I'm not going to go crazy with that. Just a little bit. Throw it in there and we'll taste it. So we got a little barbecue in there, a little mayonnaise for cream. And then we have chili taste for a little kick. We're looking really good and I'm going to take these the remainder of these egg rolls and like I said I'm going to stick them in the freezer and have them for a later time. So we're going to pull these out of here and we're going to eat some egg rolls here in just a moment. I turned that heat down just a tad just to kind of monitor it and um, these are looking really nice. And you see what I told you a minute ago about going back and re-gluing um, that down? See how much better that worked out rather than a couple of them popped open on me because I failed to, to do that and they had sat there for a long time. There we go, we have a hot egg roll. I'm going to go over here and grab one of the ones that we cooked earlier. Look inside, look at that pork in there. And it looks absolutely delicious. It's cool enough to eat, so I'm going to take some of my homemade sauce over here, put on it. And I'm going to enjoy this egg roll. I'm John Woods and you've been watching All Things Food. I hope you enjoyed the channel today and if you have, hit the like button, subscribe to us and tell all of your friends. And I'll see you next week right here, but remember above all things, not only love to cook as I do, but cook to love.